I feel like I've lost a friend today. <laughs> I feel like that's the takeaway from this whole thing. One can dream. Um, hey there, I'm Nicholas Gatzin. And I'm Taylor Zakar Perez. You sabotaged mine. You put a way too big a pause. I'm Nicholas Galatzin. I'm Nicholas Galatzin. Oh, God. This... I want to go home. Hey, I'm everyone. <sighs> hey there, I'm Nicholas Galatzin. And I'm Taylor Zakar Perez. And today we are doing the UK versus US GQ friendship quiz. You got it. Thank you, mate. Taylor Zakar Perez, can you do an impression of me, please? Mate, how is it? What's up? Can I get a latte? How are we on my latte? Yeah, great. Thanks, babes. Mate, mate, mate. Okay, that, is, that is pretty accurate. Mate, think. mate. Everyone's my friend. I'm just very excited <laughs> to see them. I'm just, I'm very enthusiastic. I will give him the point for that. I think that was very good acting, Taylor. Well done. You're going to make something of yourself one day in this industry. Thank you so much. Can you do an impression of Yes, me? I can. Here it goes. <clears throat> Hey, what's up? I'm Taylor Zakar Perez. You might might have seen my work in the Kissing Booth or this uh, this other movie called One Up. <laughs> How um, dare you? <laughs> freaking love to surf, <laughs> take supplements. I gotta get that collagen stuff. in your skin, dude. Gotta get it. Gotta look young. Gotta look hot always. Uh, yeah, that this is me, Taylor. Taylor, dude. Freaking Taylor. I think he nailed it. Thank you. Yeah, Taylor, can you point? to where the King of England lives on this map. Now, I'm gonna show you a map. Now, we know Americans are not great at geography. They only really care about states, American states. And on the coast. Don't really care about we, anything. We, in out, the middle, yeah, yeah, not so much. Not even it's the just, middle. Yeah, it's just so, the coast. So this might be difficult for Taylor. So um, here we go. I'll hold it Wait, up there. Is, is this not this area? Very good, Taylor. Very good. Okay. Taylor thought, is the one American person who knows where London is on a map. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Where is Indiana? Indiana's in the Midwest, right? I can neither confirm nor deny. Indiana, Indiana, Indiana. I'm trying to think what the state would be. Okay, so we've got California here. We've got uh, Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada. Yeah, did you want to touch Nevada like that again? Nevada. Yeah. Indiana. That's yeah, right there. Perfect. It's there. It's there. <laughs> it's yeah, it's 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 I'll point it's right there. And the bonus question is, oh. what is the major sport event in Indiana known as? The big game. The big football game. Yeah. The bowl. The the Indiana <laughs> Bowl. <laughs> the Great state champion lacrosse game of Indiana. Think of racing and Indiana. Oh, it's it's the Indy 5,000. 5, yeah. 5,000. 5,000 would be, would be great. It, that was two points, right? I was very leading. Yep. Yeah, you can yep. have it. Taylor, which of these three is not a real place in the UK? Is it A, Scratchy Bottom? <laughs> is it B, Sandy Bush? <laughs> Is it C? Bell End. You know what that is. I told you what that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I want to say Bell End is not real. Is that your final answer, Taylor? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, uh, yeah. The answer is in fact B. But there is also a place, uh, as GQ is telling me now, called Sandy Ball. Is it just coming in? It's the, coming in. Through the wire? I'm hearing yeah, that we have live news. Sandy there is balls. a place called Sandy Balls in the UK. You get 10 points for that. Congratulations. Right. Thank you so much. Wait, wait, did I get it right? Yeah. No, no, you didn't. Sorry, oh. sorry. You didn't, he didn't get <laughs> Scratch that. Scratch that right. from the, point, the well, points tally. All right, where is the tallest building in the US? And what is it? We did it used to be New York. I, I want to say Seattle. It is in New York. You shouldn't say Seattle. Okay, it's in New York. Is it? It's yeah. is it the, the Empire. It's not the Empire State Building. It's the <laughs> if you go south, there is a larger <laughs> building. Yeah, what is it? It's more of like a center. The World Trade Center. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the World Trade Center. Yeah, dude. Point. In what county does the annual Cooper's Hill Cheese Roll take place? I believe you competed in this event yourself, didn't you? I'm lactose intolerant. Would it be Yorkshire? It's not Yorkshire, but I'm actually kind of impressed that you know Yorkshire. Devonshire? No. It's also a type of cheese. Manchego? <laughs> Manchego County. 
the county of Munster. No, but I keep, this is really um, quite funny. I could do this for the next um, the 20 minutes. Provolone County. It is correct. Provolone it, County. It? Uh, no, it's Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire cheese. Is that a cheese? It is a cheese, right? Can you name the last five presidents? Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Obama, George Bush. Oh, um. I did not have. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had the sexual affair. relations. Oh my God, why am I forgetting your name? That. Oh my God. Okay, Bill Clinton. Yes. <sighs> nice. That was good. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Stateside. Taylor, what do three million Brits tune into for 16 weeks a year? This is a good one. It's a, it's Love Island. Yes, very good, Taylor. Very good. What is the line? What does he say? You what? are a liar. You are a liar, actress. Get, Get the fuck out. out. That's David there from last year's Love Island. You do not say that. That is my thing. You deserve an Oscar. And then the next episode, when she tried to say what he said. Oh, I don't. I don't remember. Somebody watched it. What is the most watched sport in the U.S.? I want to say American football. You should say it. That's correct. Okay. A Point. Point. Point for Taylor. No, for you. Point for Nick. <laughs> right? You're Taylor. I'm, I'm Nick. Okay, got it. What would I use a rubber for in the UK? In the most common sense, what would I use a rubber for? Think about like what you do with a rubber. Like think about like if you if it was gonna be a thing, like what would you do with it? I would put it on. <laughs> it's not that. Good. I, I know, but I mean, then give me a better description of. I mean, but then you know I guess it defeats the purpose. You know what? That's fair. I led you astray there. I think it's fair. I'll give you a clue. It is a piece of stationery. Oh, um, is it a eraser? Yes. Oh. Very good. You should go in the convenience store in the states and ask for a rubber. I don't know if English people know what that means over there. <laughs> you said you put it on. You put it sick. on. You <laughs> sick up. You're sick. Okay. If someone says it's brick out today, what are they referring to? Is it like it's like cold? Yeah. Really cold? Yeah. Is that something Americans say? I yeah. If someone is having a chin wag, what are they doing? Like pulling my chain? Like joking with you? Mm, mm, no. But it, uh, that's not a bad guess. A chin wag. Like right now, you and me are having a chin wag. An interview. <laughs> a chat? How? Yes. You're having a, convers you're having a conversation. Like, I mean, my mate's having a chin wag. I'll give him a point. <laughs> <laughs> the points that are bountiful and plenty, we don't need to be stingy with them. Yeah. This is a game of friendship, <laughs> if anything. Name three dishes on the Thanksgiving table. You got your turkey, you got cranberry sauce and Brussels sprouts. Bonus point for every additional dish you can name. Roasted carrots maybe you might have. Sure. Roasted potatoes. Just roast everything, keep going. Just roast them all. We learned on set, remember uh, the last day of shooting. Well, I mean, you have gravy on your plate. Oh, oh, cornbread. Yeah. What is a chip butty, Taylor? How's it spelled? B-U-T-T-Y. Is that fish and chips? No. It's quite a weird thing. It's like conflating two things. Because you guys call french fries chips. You know, yeah, you and know. crisps are chips. But what's fry. the butty? Mayonnaise. No. Butter. Um, Don't think condiment. Sandwich. Yes. What is it goes in the sandwich? Fish. Oh. <laughs> it's, you guys speak a different language here. I'm telling you, it may be English, I but... I feel like we did like all the workings out. A sandwich and fries? Yes! <laughs> never never in my fish life. From? We were trying to work around the fish and chips of it all. No, I was never on board with fish and chips. Nicholas. Yes. What is a corn dog? It's like a weird thing that goes on a stick. I mean, is it made of corn? I don't know. It's it's like, it looks kind of like a big hot dog. It goes on a stick and you kind of... Yeah, yeah. it's like a corn bread battered corn. wiener. Is it always in butter? Yeah. Oh. What can I expect in a traditional English fryer? Fish. Oh my god. You're really, you're really about to upset me. An English fry up chips. I have no idea. Getting really angry right now. Otherwise known as a full English. Wait, that's just like a breakfast? I've never heard it called a fry up. There's always like baked beans in there. Okay. Mushrooms. Yeah. Tater tots or like some mm. kind of... Maybe um, that's an American thing. Your main thing is your, your eggs, your bacon, toast, sausages, but then you can add mushrooms, you can add tomatoes, you can add all of this. Sort of you stuff. love tomatoes. Uh. Can you describe how to make ants on a log? <laughs> a little fry up? Uh, the log in question, is it chocolate? No. Is it a bread type thing? No. Is it savory? It's very neutral. Very neutral thing. It's a neutral food? Yeah, it's, it's like a little 
What, what does that even mean? bitterness to it, maybe? It's like a refreshing, but kind of bitter. Can you give me an example of a neutral food? A radish is kind of a neutral food. <laughs> oh, God. You know? Just kind of like, is it? A radish is a neutral food. Yeah, there's like a slight kick to okay. it. Okay. I want to say it's raisins okay. on a cucumber. <laughs> Close. It's, it's a celery, and then you put uh, peanut butter in it, and then you put oh. the ants on top. What are the ants? The raisins. Oh, they are? It's, yeah. It is raisins? Yeah. Oh, amazing. I think that's worthy of a half point there. Just, just give it to him. Just give it to me, please. Taylor has six points, and Nick wins with 13.5. Yeah. Wow. Master. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, GQ. I just want to say this means a lot to me. This means a lot. I've never had an award in my life. And you still uh, don't. For anything. So this really, this means something. I knew I had the strength. I knew I had the perseverance. And um, nice playing with you, Taylor. Thanks. Can we turn the cameras on for mine now? Do you want to give a concession speech? Or? I was defeated. I would say he overtook me with the Thanksgiving question, gaining seven extra points. Did I get seven points for that? You gave him seven points. Yeah. Thank you, Taylor. You're welcome. Appreciate it. I'm a very giving person.